Hi guys, welcome to my week 14 pregnancy vlog. I am, um, I think when this gets dropped, it'll be, I'll finally have caught up. So um, I think this is going to drop probably when I'm 15 weeks. Um, so we'll almost be caught up and then we're dropping all the other ones that I've done. How's it going guys? I hope you're good. I have a very messy room in here. This is my homeschooling room. I haven't done my hair today. It is still in this scrunchie. <laughs> this is how I slept last night with my hair. Um, I'm having a chill day today. Yesterday I took the three kids on my own to Malibu and we hung out there. I saw Sarah. We did lots of safe social distancing, uh, beach hangs, which was so great for the kids. I think it was um, really therapeutic because they haven't really been able to see their friends in such a long time. So we, we figured it out so that we could do it in a way that felt really safe. And it was so much fun and I feel great, but today we all wanted just to have a home day. So the boys are on their iPads, um, Poet is downstairs, she's asleep, and I am just chilling here, um, doing some vlogs today. So I'm catching up on a lot of the vlogs um, and doing some packing. So I'm packing boxes for the Poor People's Army in Philadelphia, uh, for the homeless families there. I have six big boxes from when I did my Marie Kondo a few weeks ago so I'm going to be doing that today and I'm um, just relaxing and I've let the kids have shows today I was like that's just the day it's going to be we were out all day yesterday and today is like shows you can play some video games super chill um so this week I feel so good I feel just I, not sick even at all um and i felt bubby kicking on the full moon so the moon is very symbolic in this pregnancy um when we first went to see the heartbeat we uh went to our six week scan and i was actually more like five weeks six days um while i was measuring that anyway and so then when we got in there i wasn't really expecting to see very much because i have had scans at six weeks before where um you don't see the fetal pole you just see the little gestational sac and that's all you see and then like a few days later then the fetal pole will be there and then the, you'll see the heartbeat and then later you can hear the heartbeat anyway um so at my six week uh appointment we saw, not only did we see the gestational sac and the fetal pole, we saw the little heart going boop, 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 and it was really slow. And um, typically, if I was further along, slow is not a good sign. But um, the doctor was like, oh my goodness, your baby's heart probably started beating today. He's like, I can tell, because you're so early in your pregnancy, and the fact that we can see something is such a good sign. And he's like, and I think the heart beated, started beating today or the last couple of days. And that was on a full moon. And so um, Mark's like this baby and the moon. And we did, um, there was like this full moon, uh, sort of very typical um, put out intentions to the universe um, day back uh, December the 21st, which is the day we actually found out. We were pregnant um, and we were just talking about how healthy this baby is and everything's good. And, um, and then the kicking, the crazy, crazy kicking, which I haven't been, I've been feeling like a little something here and there, um, but not like a lot. And then on my birthday, February the 26th, um, it was, it was a full moon in Pisces and I am a Pisces. Um, so it was really powerful for me. The baby really responded to that. And whether or not you believe in that, I like to um, say that there's some sort of connection because the baby was moving more than I've ever felt the baby move before. And then it's quietened down again. So like little flicks, little kicks. Um, I'm just going to see if my Sonaline B 
is in here that I can show you. Um, oh, here it is. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was really cool. I love my messy room. I didn't clean it up for you guys, but you know what? I'm keeping it real. Um, okay, so this is called a Stone Align B. Boom, boom. Um, is mine the B? It doesn't say B on here. Stone Align A? I don't know. Anyway, Stone Align. That's the packaging. This is quite an old one. I've had this since Forest. Um, and basically, it's a, a fetal Doppler. So you plug her in. You gotta make sure it has battery. Oh god. Um Poet has been um thinking this is a telephone, so she speaks in it, so she runs around the house and speaks in it. Basically, am I hearing poet? I don't think so. So basically you plug it in um and then you use some ultrasound gel or if you don't have ultrasound gel like really kind of thick like either a coconut oil or um i use bayo sarah's company um which i hate wasting but i'm like oh i'll also give myself a stomach massage when i do it and then you put it down um you start when you're like as far along as i am i'm 14 weeks you start like an inch below the belly button and then you sort of, near your pubic line, you sort of go super slowly. Like I'm saying, like, this is how slow I go. And you can listen to all the different noises. And when you hear like, zhoo, 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 that's like blood pumping. A lot of the times they say that's the placenta. Um, you'll hear lots of different noises. But what you should hear is a fast heartbeat. So it's going to sound different to yours. You won't. I mean, typically you can't hear your own heartbeat all the way down here, but um, it should be like, like re really quite fast. Um, and it's it's distinct. So I heard it for the first time when I got back. Um, so I was 12 weeks pregnant um, and it took me ages to find it. So I'm not one of the, I think I have um, an anterior a placenta. So I think my placenta sits at the front. Um, and oftentimes that means that I find it harder to hear my baby's heartbeat. Look, this isn't recommended for everyone because people can start getting like really crazy with it. But I have it just for peace of mind. I feel like I also have the self-control to not do it all the time. Um, I've given myself a rule that I can only do it once a week. And I think I'm only going to do it until I can fully start feeling can I say the baby's gender? Oh yeah, I already have talked about that. Until I start feeling her more, um, it's just like a little extra reassurance. Um, but I've said that I will not do it more than once a week. I'm not gonna be doing it, you know, once a day or anything. Just do it once a week. And, and it actually is quite hard for me to find the heartbeat. Like the first time I had a full panic I tried and I tried and I tried and I could not hear anything. I could hear all the other noises. I could hear the all the stuff going on in there, but I could not find a heartbeat. So I just took a deep breath and I was like, all right, I'm going to try this again later. So I came back only 30 minutes later, but um, put it on, was just got, was really patient. I pressed in a little bit more and I eventually found baby's heartbeat like, two inches below my belly and to one side. So I think what was happening was I I just didn't have, the baby was in a different spot than what I had thought. And I felt so good hearing it. But then the second time I've done it, I did it at 13 weeks. Um, again, it took me a, quite a long time to find it. And then I eventually found it and it was fine. Um, but of course, you have those moments of like, oh God, which is why a lot of people say, do not get them. So unless you really feel like you can be confident with using this in a way that is more of a novelty as opposed to like self-diagnosis, then great. Um, I have heard stories of, I heard a story of a woman who had a stillbirth and 
The reason she didn't go into the hospital, even though she had limited movement, was she used her Doppler and she thought she heard the heartbeat. But what she's realizing was she got it mixed up with another sound and it wasn't the heartbeat. And so she decided not to go into the hospital because of that. So that's why like huge disclaimer with these things, like please don't use it to diagnose yourself in any way. Um, I use it more as a novelty. And also this is my fourth baby and I've been using these for a really long time and I have studied exactly what the different sounds mean. So if you're interested in getting one, you can definitely go get one. Um, but yeah, that's my big disclaimer. Don't get obsessive with it. Um, and uh, certainly this does not take away from your proper scans and going to, you know, the doctors and doing all those things. Um, I haven't heard back from my doctor yet about doing this blood test. So I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because I'm supposed to go in, I'm supposed to go to Estonia on Sunday, which I am going to Estonia on Sunday to shoot a film. So I was supposed to get this antibodies blood test and I haven't heard back from this doctor's office yet. And I'm not sure if it's because you know, usually you go and work with a doctor and they see you all the way through birth. You're not like me. I'm in a very unique situation where I'm asking someone to take care of me until 32 weeks and then just sort of say goodbye. And then I go to Australia and my midwife takes over. So it's a unique situation. And maybe that's why they're contemplating whether or not they want to take me on. Um, I think they will. I hope they will. But yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit anxious about like having to get this blood test to see if I have any antibodies. This has got nothing to do with COVID, guys. Don't get confused. Antibodies meaning for my um, the antigen, the rare antigen that my husband carries. So it's a blood thing. It's got nothing to do with COVID. I mentioned antibodies on the Dr. Berlin uh, podcast and they're like, wait, you've got antibodies? And I was like, no, this hasn't got anything to do with COVID. Um Speaking of COVID, I uh, I don't feel that affected by it so far in terms of my pregnancy hasn't suffered because of COVID. I've been more careful. Um, we basically don't leave the house. I know that there are studies that say, or studies, I don't know, articles that I've read um, that say that COVID shouldn't affect a pregnant mother more than a regular person but i'm still not gonna put myself out there and 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 risk it um so being as safe as possible i will not get the vaccine when i'm pregnant that's just like an my own personal decision um because it's not a hundred percent green lit across the board there's you know a, a couple of organizations that say do not do it a couple of countries that say our people cannot do it when you're pregnant and then half of the rest of the world are like yeah it's fine so i think because i really want that peace of mind if everyone was on the same page and from you know day one they were like it's perfectly safe then i would do it but that's my own um decision anyway like everyone can go and you know choose what you want to do but I've just decided, you know what, I'll wait. Other people in my family are going to be able to get it earlier. My mum's going to be able to get it. I know my husband will be able to get it before me. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. And then um, in my postpartum period, I'll wait till the baby's a little bit older. And then I'm going to finally, finally get my vaccination, which I think is going to mean I'll be one of the last people I know um, getting it. But you know, it is what it is. These are strange times. Um, anyway, so yeah. And that's, by the way, you guys totally do your own research and do what you want. But I just thought I should mention the fact that I'm pregnant during COVID and this is my first pregnancy during COVID. Um, and the world has changed radically since I've been pregnant, um, the last three times. So yeah, gosh, it's funny to think like, what's it gonna be like in August? How are things gonna change? Are things gonna go back to normal? Will we be seeing people more? I just don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm running out of time. I just wanna say, I uh, hope you're all doing well. I'm so glad I'm doing these again. And thank you for all your beautiful comments on my pregnancy announcement post. And I love yous. I hope you're all doing great. Um, I will see you 
next week for week 15. Mwah!